No, Byron, I'm afraid not. Given that what he is eating right now would probably put most people off food. He's busy ripping out the stomachs as we speak. Remember, buffalo have a four-chambered stomach, so we're going slowly through them. He's already done one. You can see the big pile of grass and rumen that's at his feet that came out of the first stomach that he came out that pull, pulled out there it is there you can see a bit of the lining on it so he's slowly but surely going through it and it's really not a very pleasant sight to be honest it's a bit gory so i'm certainly not feeling hungry at all but nena seems to like it he seems to think it's rather tasty and it's tucking into it with abandon at this stage so but oof. I was just saying to Senzo, imagine having to eat that. Imagine having to eat raw buffalo intestine that's two days old. That can't be pleasant. Take care. You're wondering what the most nutritional organ is of this buffalo. Well, I'd imagine that it would be either the liver or the kidneys. One of those two would probably house the most amount of nutrition for these guys. They go after liver, kidney, heart very quickly so but liver and, and kidneys as, as far as i know are probably the most nutritional for big sigh is have you had enough now boy yep oh, he is a beautiful individual now he's going to go to this lioness let's see this might get a little bit of explosive once again they had a bit of a go at each other already once today so let's see maybe it happens again you can see look she's not impressed by his approach at all Sorry, boy. No, you're unfortunately on your own. I wonder if he's going to lie down right here next to us. But look at those eyes. He is magnificent. Hopefully he's going to lie down right where we are now. Nope, he's decided he's off on his own mission. He's going to go waddling up to a car to go make friends. Ah, scent marking. So it's quite common for, to see them scent marking like this. They will do it just to make sure the female knows who, who it is now philip you want to know if there's any bachelor groups of lions in the area at the moment philip um the only young males that we have moving around currently that could potentially come up this way is the salala males but they i believe had a bit of a fight the other day and there's really not too many of them around so they're in a situation where there's only two of them they're the third one i don't know where he is at the moment and they've got quite bad injuries so i don't know if how are they going to fare? They're also a long way from where we are at the moment. So I don't know if they're going to ever end up this side. But other than them, there's very few young males that are currently in this general vicinity at the moment. It's quite interesting actually because I also don't know what's in Kruger and I don't know what's north of us in the Manuleti but just from following the various Facebook pages and looking around I can't find anything at this stage that tends to suggest there's young males that are in this particular section and that are moving around and are going to pose any threat to the Birminghams just yet but you never know sometimes coalitions come from the Kruger Park side and they shift back into the Sabi Sands from the east there's always a chance that could happen you never know but the interesting one is going to be the Mungen Pride because the Mungens at the moment you can see Nena's just posing for all the guests. The vehicle's right behind him there. So he's just making sure everyone gets a nice shot of him while he looks around. You need to lie down there, big boy. Oh, he is a beautiful lion. Um, but the Mangen Pride is going to be an interesting one because the last time I saw them, and I, and I think they're all still alive, there was nine males that were in that pride. So they were still young. They were only sort of eight, nine months old. But can you imagine if all nine males survive, a group of nine would be ridiculous and would make for a lot of trouble, that's for sure, when it comes to, um, you know, the rest of the coalition's archer. I, I doubt, though, very much that we would see nine male lions stay together, though. I think in the end of the day, you would have a situation where 
the nine would split because it's just too many males to try and dominate and to try and imagine trying to find that much food. The four Birmingham's, uh, as it stands, when, when in fact when they were five, they were killing multiple buffalo a week to try and sustain all of them. So imagine nine of them. They would have to go after giraffe, young elephants, those kind of things, just to keep nine fully grown males together so it'll be interesting to see how that all plays out i hope though that we do see it imagine watching that though imagine seeing big nine big males walking down the road towards you how intimidating that would be i think it would scare me if i had to come across that imagine on foot that would be quite something but for now these guys are the undisputed kings there's no real young males threatening anywhere near this area at the moment the lucky thing for them is that anything that comes from the south has got to go through a coalition of five males so that's going to be a big coalition that's going to have to come through them and anything that comes from the west has got to go through the Majingalan coalition which is not big there's only three of them but they're very experienced and very clever lines so th that's not going to happen and then anybody who's got to come from the north has got to go through the sky beds the Tanda impis the the timbers we're around that side as well so there's a number of male lions that are actually protecting these birminghams in a way so it's going to be very really tough for other lions to get in here without the birminghams kind of being or knowing that they're coming and, and being able to be a force against them now i'm trying to look at this female sorry i'm a bit distracted while i was answering that but this female i'm trying to see her teats and just see how much or how many suckle marks she's got because it can give us an indication of how many cubs she's got i know it's not a scientific method but sometimes you'll see that when lioness has let's say three or four cubs she'll find that all four of her teats will be worn and there'll be suckle marks on all four but sometimes if you have only two cubs or three cubs then you'll be able to see that one teat is left quite a bit and there's not too much of a sign of it of them being suckled on so i'm trying to see on her whether or not i can see her teats and see which ones are actually being used it looks like her back two are far have far less fur than the front two which means that it's probably only two of them but there we go Lillian who's three years old hello Lillian I hope you're having a wonderful Saturday you want to know if the cubs will come and eat on the buffalo Lillian no the cubs won't come and eat on the buffalo because they're too little so they can't eat buffalo yet their stomach is not able to process the meat so it's not able to use the meat and put the the nutrients in their body so they can't eat meat at all they have to drink milk so that's what the what they rely on so their mom has to go and take milk to them and they can then drink the milk and that's how they live for the first three months once they reach three months then they're going to start coming to the food and start to try and eat a little bit of meat their teeth also are not developed so it's difficult for them to chew the meat they need to be able to wait until their sharp teeth come out that they can actually cut the meat away from the bone and swallow it so you'll find that it's only going to be only in about probably two months time that we'll see the little cubs coming to carcasses like this and to food like this but for now it's still milk for them but you can see she's just looking around taking it all in At Medeep, you want to know how long the female lions r remain fertile. Well, they come into their first Easter cycles around sort of three, three and a half, sometimes as early as two and a half, but generally around three, three and a half. And then they'll be able to mate all the way through until about 14, 15. The oldest lioness that I've seen with cubs was a 16 year old lioness, but beyond that, I've never seen lions that are older than that actually be able to mate and produce any cubs. Look, she's now going to drag this cock. So I wonder if she wants to maybe just turn it over and expose this other hip. Looks like she's trying. Look at those feet, how big they are when she puts her paw like that and she actually gets those claws out. It is incredible. And the muscles around the shoulder area, huge muscles that are able to help pull these animals down. It must be something amazing. The strength to be able to hold on to these buffalo when they're running away and trying to fight for their life it is an incredible display of power that they're able to do what they do and bring animals like this to the ground but we just got a little shuffling of the vehicle so everybody's kind of moving around trying to wait oh 
can you see one of our boys has woken up? So I think it's Mfumo that's down in the distance. He's decided to wake up and come out a little bit so we can actually just get a, a small view of him. There is a vehicle that's quite close to him, but we'll be able to just get a kind of view of him watching. Now I wonder if anybody can tell me when was the last time we had all four of the Birminghams in one sighting? So together, if anybody knows when we had four Birmingham males together, hashtag Safari Live or on the YouTube chat when was the last time we had them because I think that it must be close to a year and a half two years since we've seen all of these guys together it's not something that we see very often but that is definitely Mfumo that's sitting there you can see also full he's got scars all over his face the easiest way to identify him is from his right side so just now when he was looking in our direction you'll see that he's got a big cut under his right eye there we go so that's the easiest way to identify Mfumo and I find Mfumo has got a lot of character in his face he's got a stare that kind of cuts straight through you it almost looks like he's analyzing the deepest part of you especially when he looks like that isn't that an incredible stare that would make even the strongest feel a little bit weak at the knees and then Tinyo is just the last one we haven't seen he is here but he's just lying under one of the trees he's got like I say a very scarred face and a broken tooth and that's why he's easy to identify but I'm glad Mfumo's up it means that he might come feed at the carcass now he's watching this direction so hopefully he's going to come up in, into this area and then Tinyo after him and we'll get all four of them lying together because that would be wonderful if we could it's interesting also we we're talking earlier about how who's dominant within this grouping of lions the fact that Insuku has been feeding here and he's kept the others at bay the whole day so I was asking the guys this morning who fed off this carcass they said not one of the other Birmingham's fed off it they walked from Sydney's dam this morning and they then lay down here and the Insuku kept growling at them and kind of chasing them off and you've now seen Nena come in and feed but Mfumo and Tinyo are just looking in this direction they're almost as if to say okay when the two big boys are done then we'll come in and take over so it's going to be interesting just to see the dynamics between them if if they come up into this area and start feeding and whether Nsuko or Nena react to them coming to the carcass. I suspect that they won't mind now that they've fed and they're both full and fat but it's interesting that those are the first two to feed ahead of Tinyo and Mfumo. How cool is this just to have lions all around you? It has been a very long time since we've seen this. It's the most special thing when you've got all four of the Birmingham's and I'm hoping beyond all hope that tonight they decide to belt it out and we get a massive roar from all four of them. Can you imagine sitting amongst that sound? And hopefully it will be while you're all still with us because it'll just be the most epic experience. Right, now I believe Byron has pulled up his socks. He's tucked in his shirt. He's made himself get ready and he's gotten his biceps out and he's managed to find some spots. <laughs> 